And now, a moment of education from Surgication. Sometimes kids don't know if they have symptoms, but the main symptoms are uh, exercise intolerance, uh, sometimes chest pain, uh, shortness of breath when they're exerting at high levels of cardiac output, uh, likely related to compression of the heart by the uh, pressed sternum, which causes a decreased uh, filling of the heart when it's pumping really fast. The initial tests done are a CAT scan, computed tomography of the chest, which measures the deepest portion of the chest um, and relates it to the widest portion of the chest. And in this situation, you get an index called the Haller index, which um, estimates the severity of the pectus uh, asymmetry. There's also something called a correction index, which measures the percent you'd have to elevate the sternum to make it straight. Um, if you have a correction index of less than 10%, for example, that would be, that'll appear to be a normal chest. But anything over 20%, where you need to bring the chest out 20% of its current location to make it flat, is considered a severe pectus excavatum.